So yeah. I used to wrestle. I wrestled in high school, was captain and undefeated. One of my fellow wrestlers, uh, black, uh, it was one year ahead of me. Uh, he was majoring in, I think it was in economics or it's something that related to business. So we, after a long practice, we're walking back and he says, Neil, so how you doing? We haven't chatted in a while. And I said, yeah, I'm doing fine. And remind me your major. I said, it's physics. And he said, uh, on knowing that I want to do astrophysics, he said, physics, huh? So what else are you doing? No, I don't have time for anything. It's all the problem sets and everything. And he says, do you realize the black community does not have the luxury of someone with your intellect devoting it to something such as physics. This was a conflict in my life that would not get resolved for another 10 or 15 years. Let me do the math on this, 1990. Yeah, for another 15 years, 12, 12 years later. Only then did I figure out how to climb out of that hole. Okay, so I pursue it. I still did what I did, but I carried this guilt, yeah, yeah. All right? Wow. So I got my degree in physics and I got my PhD. I went to graduate school, got my PhD, all of this, all right? Here's what happened. And I remember it was like 1991, okay? I'm in the department, I'm at Columbia University. A call comes in, a call comes in. And it's uh, from uh, the local news. Uh, it was Fox News. Before Fox had its own news uh, cable, it was just, Channel 5 in New York was Fox. They needed someone to comment on the fact that the sun just had a series of explosions. So I answer the phone. I say, oh, you're talking about solar flares. Uh, this happens all the time. Occasionally they head towards Earth. It's charged particles. They'll see Earth's magnetic field and they will spiral down in towards the poles. They'll collide <laughs> with the atmosphere, render it aglow, and create aurora, the northern lights. So why not go north this weekend to get a good view? And they said, you mean Earth is okay? I said, Earth is fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do we have to duck for cover? No, no. Earth's magnetic field is all the cover we need. They said, that's great. Could you t do this on camera? So I go home, I put on my one shirt, my one tie, and I go there. We repeat the conversation I, with, with the weatherman, because the weather guy is the only guy that knows any science in these places. <laughs> so, and then they play that back that evening. And I'm watching that interview, I'm eating my sandwich. Then the interview ended and I basically dropped my sandwich. And I said, I have never seen this before. And I said, well, what, what, what? I'll tell you. It was, I've never seen a black person yeah. interviewed on television for expertise that had nothing to do with being black. <laughs> 